hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm gonna show you uh, like how we can uh, override the data which is already present in the delta table or how we can append new data into the delta table okay so uh, when i'm saying delta table it means my delta table is already there if you don't know how to create the data table you can refer my previous videos so in this video i am gonna show you uh, like how we can append and override the data table so the first command if you can see it's already uh, written i mean few commands i have already written so that we can save some time so we are just importing the libraries for the data table and the so second command if you see i have uh, saved the location basically as in a parameter as in a variable like file location for my file which i'm using okay to create the delta table so this is the csv file which i'm using which is present in my dbfs to create the delta table and uh, after creating the delta table the delta table is stored in the hive uh, hive database in a default uh, database basically in the hive uh, if you want you can see it over here yeah, I meta store default and this is my delta table. So okay. Yeah. So this is my delta table location and this is the pile location by which we have created this delta table. Now in the third command, if you see I'm just reading this CSV file, this file, and I'm saving this as a data frame. Because with this data frame only I am creating the delta table in my previous videos okay so now i will use this data frame let's say um, this data frame okay and uh, if you remember i'll just to show you guys like how much data i have in my delta table let me quickly show you okay uh, yeah, i think i had 130 records let me put the count it will be better and easy. Yeah. So if you see, I have 130 records in the delta table. However, in the data frame, I have uh, thousands of records, but I, I took only 130 at that time and I stored it over here. Okay. Now I wanted to read, let's say, 100 records from this data frame and then I will be saving these 100 records into another data frame, data frame three. So if I run this, now I have this data frame ready which has 100 records and my delta table has currently 130 records let's say now i wanted to append these records in my delta table okay so uh, first question is is it really a delta table if somebody asks you like how you will verify or in somewhere in your code you should be verifying okay if this del if this table is really a delta table or not right so you can use one command like delta table dot is there is one function my bad yeah is delta table and you need to use spark as a parameter and the location of their delta table okay so like this one you can pass this location okay and you can store it like uh, mm, saying like uh, table exists or something okay anything and then let's print it uh, don't know why it's the problem is with the indentation okay so let's run this and if you see yes it's a delta table if it is not a delta table it will give you false okay so this is how you can verify if your table is a delta table or not okay now i want to append the data into the delta table right so let me first write append one then we'll take a look to the override one also so let's see how we can append it so we can simply use this data frame 3 like which we have written okay and we can write this data frame into a delta format okay with mode as i said append okay and then we need to save it so you can pass the location of the delta table here okay 
right so in that case it will use that existing table and it will it will append these hundred records in this particular table okay so let's write run this and if you see the spark job is completed now we'll run the same command where i was checking the count now the count should be 230 yeah so it means my records got added now one uh, disclaimer i would like to add here like i'm adding here just for the testing perspective just to show you guys right obviously i'm adding the first 100 records or 10 records or 20 records so there will be a duplicate data so we'll take a look how we can handle those duplicate data later on in my further videos but as of now i'm just showing you how you can append your records into existing data table now we have as in total 230 records right now let's say i wanted to overwrite this data with an existing data table okay so i'll again use same uh, data frame let's say and i want to overwrite so when i say overwrite it means since my table has uh, 230 records after overwritten it should have only 100 records okay and you can use the same syntax it's just that you have to change the modes okay and let's run it so i have done this overwrite and now let's check how many yeah so now we have 100 records in our delta table now let's take a look to the history okay how basically we are uh, holding the history for this particular data table so if you if you guys remember in my previous video i was showing you how you can see the history you can simply use delta table for path to get the delta table history object or delta table object and you can use history method so i'll use the same function sorry yeah let's go to the operations okay and i'll showcase you like let's run this okay and we have now we have the delta table object now we can use history function which will give us the history of the delta table so it's not properly reflecting so what i can do i can use display command so that it will reflect it as a table yeah and you can see i'm doing a right operation right so if you see here i'm doing a right operation here in the override in the append mode right so it's creating a history okay with the right operations and you see the last operation is overwritten the the one which is before last operation is append all and you can see in these two operations how many number of records i have changed so if you see here i have i mean basically i have worked with the 100 records right in both the cases that's why it is showing the 100 records okay and that's how you can even check like what exactly you have done in your previous operation so this delta table history is basically works like a time travel thing where you can go back and see what exactly you have done even you can check the last uh, uh, version of the delta table as well so i'll cover the cover the time travel part in my next video so i hope this video will be helpful for you and you like this video